on guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Blitz with the Survival Outpost and in case you've ever wondered why the call sign Blitz. Well, as a kid through my formative years, we had two German Shepherds, both named Blitz. Blitz 2 being the reincarnation of Blitz 1 in the living flesh. So these dogs had a big impact on my life and I grew up with them and spent a ton of my time with these dogs. So obviously they're not here anymore, unfortunately. So the call sign Blitz is in their memory. Now, first things first, before we can jump into that video, I have to give a big shout out and thank you to all the new subscribers. The numbers have gone through the roof. So I truly appreciate all that support and the tons of constructive dialogue that has been spun up from these last two videos. So thank you guys very much for that. It makes a huge difference. And I've kind of changed my strategy a little bit on YouTube and it seems to be paying off quite nicely. Now onto the video. And this is just a basic real quick hit piece on my POV EDC, my personal operating vehicle everyday carry because I like to string acronyms together like that. So this is just basically all the stuff that I have within my reach at any point in time while I'm seated in my vehicle driving or doing whatever I'm doing, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into that content starting now. Let's get started with the three tools that I have to have on me at all times. Right here in this EDC pouch by Worldly Tactical, I have these three basic tools that I'm gonna have no matter what vehicle I'm in. And this pouch enables me to do that with that grab handle and just wide open access right there. No buckles, no zippers, no nothing. So let's go ahead and have a look at these items starting from left to right. First up is the flashlight, the Olight M1T Raider. Now this thing pumps out a ridiculous amount of lumens as compared to the size and is perfect for illuminating those dark, scary places, whether that's your engine bay where you dropped your radiator cap that you absolutely have to find or you know, maybe not tripping over dead crackheads while you're out urban exploring at four o'clock in the morning. I don't know, whatever you do, this flashlight is up to the task, no problem. It's compact, it has a nice aesthetic as well, which I like about Olight products, and it's an absolute perfect fit in that pouch. Now, up next, big addition to the ever-growing family of knives. I had to retire my Ontario Rat 1 and put it on kitchen duty. So the replacement is the Kershaw barge now look at that pry bar on the end that's what attracted me to this knife because i hadn't seen really any folders out there with the pry bar on the end so i thought that was pretty cool plus it has an integrated uh flathead screwdriver right there and overall it just looks like a solid design i like how it's machined and it just has a nice look to it and it also has an integrated frame lock which means you can lock this out with ease and not worry about the blade coming out of position. So it gives you a solid cutting platform. And overall for the price of $15, you really can't beat it. Kershaw is a great budget brand that obviously I've got a few of them now, <laughs> kind of turning into a strange addiction. Next and finally is the emergency vehicle survival tool, better known as the car hammer. There is a tungsten tip that you see right there. And you know, the operation of this is pretty simple. It's a freaking hammer. Smash out the window and escape when you can't operate that window. Then also you see right there, there is an integrated seatbelt cutter. And you know, imagine a situation where your vehicle has flipped over and you're trapped inside. Your seatbelt doesn't work and your window is completely jammed because last time I checked, everybody has power windows. So you cut that seatbelt, smash the window, clear out the glass and climb out unscathed and live to see another day. Now, finally, the last feature on this pouch is this large compartment in the back where I just keep some cash because it just makes sense. If the lights go out and I'm low on gas, I need to be able to get some gas or get whatever I need. I, I, you know, I've seen these people when the power has been out and they've been just outraged. I can't believe I can't use this piece of plastic. Well, maybe you should have thought and remembered that there is such a thing as paper money that's still in circulation for how long i have no idea but whatever the case is i like to carry some cash on me and now finally we just have to have a quick look at this pouch designed and produced by warland tactical he is a good dude that i met through my youtube channel and hey shockingly enough we had a lot in common he's a prepper and he's a survivalist so hey that's great anyways um this is a prototype that he has made that we're collaborating on to try and figure out a final design. So I'd love to hear you guys' input on this. You know, I have a lot of different thoughts. Maybe switching the fabric up to something thicker, maybe splitting one of those compartments in half to allocate space for a pen. 
because this type of pouch is, is, you know, you can use it in your vehicle, you can use it in an urban setting, wilderness or whatever. So if you guys have some, some suggestions for this design, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'm definitely interested to hear what you have in mind. Now moving on to the center console, and here space is limited, so I have to maximize it as much as possible. Obviously I'm gonna have the notepad and pen. I have this little metal Altoid style size 10 where I have change for toll booths and some cash. I also have the small Kershaw folding knife because yeah, I got another knife over there, but I also need another one here. Obviously a charging cable and also a lighter. Now, let's talk about situational awareness and operational security. So this happened a while back. I did a video on this. My boss pulled into a gas station and he left a laptop just sitting there on the seat and didn't lock his vehicle. And when he came back out, the laptop was gone. So it's very easy to resolve this situation simply by tinting your windows. If you're going to park your vehicle in some location and you're not going to be back, I don't care if it's for a minute or an hour, you have to put valuables out of sight. So these are just some simple things that you probably do already. Now, moving on to something that bugs the living crap out of me, and it's honestly something that I used to do, and that is like plastering stickers like all over your vehicle, you know, like don't tread on me, or you know, gun logo stickers like Glock, you see that a lot, and um, you know, political stickers, and you know, it just, it just gives away who you are, you know, even down to the sticker of like, oh, I love first, First Coast Community Bank, or my kid is an honor student at you know Frank Herbert Elementary, or something like that. That gives away that you have kids. It gives away that you have guns. It gives away where you bank, and it just completely destroys any concept of being discreet. So with my vehicle, it basically looks like a rental car. I have no stickers on it at all. I just have some dark limo tint, and that's really all I need. Okay, so that's it guys, short and sweet, just like I promised. And obviously, bear in mind that what I showed you is just the foundation. Once you have that on point and nailed down, the sky is the limit. You add in first aid, you add in you know, some, uh, some tools and a kit for emergency roadside repairs. Maybe you put in a gun rack for your AR-15 or one of those volley panels for the back of your seat. Maybe you got tons and tons and tons and tons of cash and you mount a minigun in your vehicle. I, who knows, but really, you're just limited to your imagination and your budget. And before I forget, I got links. I got lots of links, very important links. So look down there in the pinned post. The first link is to Worland Tactical's YouTube channel. Like I mentioned, he's the new kid on the block. So click that link and subscribe and watch him evolve as he goes through the evolution from you know, the infant YouTuber into the veteran YouTuber. It's cool to be, be there for that process. Like a lot of my subscribers have been with me for years and years now. I can't even believe this channel has been around for that long, crazy. But anyways, so that's the first link. Second link is to his Discord where there is a literally, I mean, I've been on there for about a week and I haven't even scratched the surface of how much content he has in there for everything from fitness to prepping to survivalism to living off the land. Uh, in self-defense, there's just tons and tons of great content that I'm actually kind of using a little bit for videos in the future. So I hope to see you over there on Discord. And then also the last link is to the Warrior Tribe. They are the sponsor of this video. And this group I mentioned before, they are a global network of like-minded people, preppers, survivalists who are all working towards a common goal, which is survival in real life and then when the shit actually hits the fan. So they're doing everything from ruck marches to primitive shelter building to trying to figure out the best ways to pay off debt, to have that freedom from being debt free, you name it. And then of course they got the challenges and the giveaways which just sweetens that pot just a little bit more. So make sure you check out that link. And that's really, I swear to God, that's literally all I have to say. I could just keep on running my mouth. but. I hope to see you guys in the comments. Let me know how you guys handle your everyday carry in your vehicle. And um, that's all I got. See you in the next video.